ready to keep building those subtraction skills. That is what we are going to be working on to do not only addition, but subtraction all mentally in our big brains. So first, of course, we have to warm up with skills that we are going to be using in our new mental map strategy. So first up, we have to review our pairs to 10 knowledge with our trusty 10 frames. So with a 10 frame, we are going to take away some dots and you are going to need to tell me what's left over. Then we have to turn that information into a subtraction sentence. So here we go. So 10 minus Four equals what? 10 minus four equals six. Can we all say it with me? 10 minus four equals six. Good job. Okay, new problem. 10 minus five equals what? because this is the half problem. So say it with me. 10 minus 5 equals 5. Good job. Here we go. 10 minus 7. Minus 7 equals equals 3. There's 3 left. Say it with me. 10 minus 7 equals 3. Good job, last one. 10 minus two equals what? 10 minus two equals eight. There are eight dots left. So read it with me. 10 minus two equals eight. Good job. Okay, now we are going to take out so I want you to just tell me the answer out loud. Okay, we've got 86. If we take out a 10, what will be left? We had eight tens and we just took one away. What will be left? We'll have seven tens left and nothing will happen with the ones. So what will be left over? 76, because there's one less 10, because we took one out. Okay, next up, see if you can do this before me. We have 50. If I take out a 10, what's left? It is 40, exactly. So we went from five tens, 50, to four tens, 40, because we took out one of them. Good job, awesome people. Okay, let's look at our learning target for Tuesday. It says, dun, 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 I can identify the pairs to 10 fact that will help me solve a subtraction problem. So today we are starting on the first step of our new mental math subtraction strategy. And in order to do that, we have to know our pairs to 10 knowledge. We have been working with mental math strategies that require us to look at a bigger problem and break it down into simpler ones. That way we can look at any problem and solve it in our heads by breaking it apart into simpler equations. And that's the exact same thing we are going to do with subtraction. Let me remind you how we did it with addition. So, in addition, we were looking for that simpler 10 plus fact that could help us solve. And how did we do that? We turned 56 into a 10 by taking from our other number. And we knew 56 plus 4 equals 60. A tens number is way easier to work with. So once we had our tens number and what was left over, we were able
able to create that simpler equation that could help us solve a bigger problem. So our addition mental math strategy was to create a 10 plus fact. This was the simpler equation within this problem that we were able to learn how to find. It is so cool to learn all these strategies to practice how we can manipulate, we can change equations to make them easier for ourselves. That's exactly what we're gonna do with subtraction. And today we are gonna practice the very first important step. So I'm gonna get my place value chart out. You don't need your chart right now. I encourage you to just be watching and following along with me. But this place value chart is gonna show us how our pairs to 10 knowledge is so important. Okay, the first equation we're gonna look at is a pairs to 10 fact, and that is 10 minus nine. Most of us, you've already solved this problem. 10 minus nine is what? It is one, because nine and ones are pairs to 10. Therefore, when you take one of them away, you're left with the other. So looking at our place value chart, we can show 10 minus nine by starting with these 10, and of course, taking away nine from that. And what are we left with? We're left with one, which is exactly what we said over here. This pairs to 10 fact and all the other ones can be found within a bigger subtraction problem. We just have to learn how to pull it out and break it apart. So we're gonna look at a problem where we're gonna be able to find and use 10 minus nine within a bigger problem. So let's take a look. Okay, now we're gonna look at 20 minus nine. 20 minus nine is a bit bigger than our last problem. And I showed it by having one ten and ten ones. We are showing 20 this way to show exactly how we can find that pairs to 10 fact. So when we are doing 20 minus nine, we are going to take nine from this 10 that we have. And what is left in our ones place? left? Just one. The exact same thing that we had when we did 10 minus 9. Using our place value chart, we can show that we took this 9 from a 10. We didn't exactly take it from this whole 20. We took the 9 just from a 10 which is a simpler equation and the one we just did before this. So on our place value chart, we can see how 10 minus nine is a part of this equation. And let's look at it using a number bond. So on our place value chart, we saw how we took from a 10, just the 10. But when we're looking at the number just as a sentence, this 10. There's not a 10 right now, but where, where can we get a 10 from? We can break apart the 20. In 20, there is that 10 we just saw. So we're going to take out this 10 from the 20. This 10 is what we are going to take from and just did on our place value chart. We're going to take this 9 from the 10 instead of the entire 20. When we set up this equation as 10 minus nine, look, that is a pairs to 10 fact that we can quickly solve and just did. What is 10 minus nine? It's one, which is exactly on our place value chart. So within this 20 minus nine, we took out a 10, that we then took this nine from and were able to solve with our pairs to 10 fact. This simpler equation is within this problem. We just had to 
know how to pull it out. This is the simpler equation that we are going to be using to solve a subtraction problem. But we're not quite done. If we had half a number bond, we have to finish it. So we took out 10 from the 20. What would be left over? We have two 10s. We took out one. How many would be left? It would be one 10, which would be 10 exactly. So we are being math detectives and finding this simpler equation that we can use to solve. All we need to do is take from a 10 instead of that bigger number. So now I need you to get out your whiteboard, just your whiteboard, and we are going to practice finding that pairs to 10 knowledge within our subtraction sentences just like this. Okay, get out your whiteboards and a pencil and let's get finding. You have your whiteboard out, but before we're going to use it, you need to stand up because it's a this or that for math. And I am keeping up the LA sports question. So for you today, do you prefer the LA Rams for football? You're going to touch the ceiling five times. Or do you prefer the LA Galaxy for soccer? And you're going to touch the ground five times. So take your pick. Which team do you prefer? I love football, so I'm going to pick the Rams. And I'm going to touch the ceiling. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. We got our wiggles out. Now sit on right back down in your seat. Go ahead, sit down with your whiteboard out. Okay, are you ready? So we are going to be looking at 80 minus 6. Within 80 minus 6, there is that pairs to 10 fact that we can use to help us solve. Because we want to take from a 10, just we want to take from a 10 instead of this big 80. Okay, but where are we going to get this 10 from? We know we're going to take away 6, but where are we going to get this 10 from? Hmm. We're going to get it from the 80. There's 8 10s within 80. We can take one. So let's go ahead, I want you to take out 10. Take out 10 from that 80. This 10 is what we're gonna use to take away six. Because, let's write it out. 10 minus six equals blank. This 10 minus six, can you solve that problem in your head? That is four. Six and four are pairs to 10. So 10 minus 6 equals 4. We were able to find that simpler equation by taking out a 10 from the 80 and subtracting the 6 from just a 10. So if we took this 10 out of 80, we have to complete the number bond. What would be left? We had 8 10s. We took away 1. How many 10s would be left? It would be 70 or 7 tens. Don't worry, we're going to use the rest of the number bond, but not yet. We just want to make sure we can find that pairs to 10 simpler equation. Okay, super scholars, so we are learning to take this 6 from a 10 to solve it way quicker in our heads. So now we're going to clear our board and practice one more together. Are you ready? Reset. Up next is the problem 40 minus 7. 40 minus 7. Okay, this problem's a little bit bigger, but if we can break it down, we can solve it in our head. We want to take from a 10 because we know our pairs to 10 knowledge. So if we want to take from a 10, where do we get the 10? We know we're going to take 7 from it, but where's the 10? It's hiding. Can you find it? It's in the 40. We take out a 10 from the 40. So I want you to 
you do is take out a 10 from the 40 and show it right here. So here's our 10 that we can take from. So let's write it out. 10 minus 7 equals, we know this, it equals 3. Because 7 and 3 are pairs to 10. So 10 minus 7 equals 3. We were able to find this simpler equation by taking out a 10 and subtracting 7 from it. But are we done? No, we can't leave this number bond hanging. If we took out a 10 from 40, what would be left over? We had four 10s, we took away one. How many are left? There are three 10s, which is the number 30. Okay, awesome people. Some of you may be ahead of me and know what to do next, but we are really just focusing on that we can find this simpler equation our pairs to 10 knowledge within a bigger subtraction problem. So now you are going to take a video of you explaining how to do your math detective work. Let's see what you're gonna solve. Here are the two equations for you. It is 90 minus seven and 50 minus six. You are gonna take a video of yourself finding the pairs to 10 fact within this problem. You don't need to solve them just yet. I want to make sure that you can break apart this fact and find that pairs to 10 knowledge. So you're going to take from the 10 each time and you've got to get that 10 by pulling it out. Talk through your math and explain exactly what you're doing and why. I love hearing all you mathematicians do number talk. It is so impressive and it's going to help you so much in math. Trust me. Okay, second grade, let's go break apart these numbers and work on the next step of our mental math subtraction. Here we go.